I knew where she went to hang out after she had dumped me, right? And so I go to like IO West. You're gonna win her back, weren't you? So I just went there to like sit there and let her see that I was hurt. Oh man. Oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, why? Why? Wait, what was going to your mind? Welcome to Careful Boys, where we are very careful boys. Ooh. Oh shit. Today. What is a cringe moment that you would like to have back? Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Wait, cringe uh, moment as in something cringe think? happened to us or we did something cringe? Shit that I did. said younger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where you were completely confident that you know what the fuck you were talking about. Uh, which, which, what'd you do? I remember I just had this recent flashback when I was flying on my plane, on the plane, right? And then I had this cringe moment when I was like, Fuck, like 12 or 13 and I learned about the whole free love movement in the 60s, right? And then I was talking to a room full of boomers. Well, at the time, um, they were probably, what, in their 40s or something like that? And I was just like, man, the world just needs to be like the 60s again where people are just giving free love to each other. And they're like, that was about sex. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I literally thought people were just like more loving. Like hugs, free hugs. <laughs> free, yeah. And they just fucking... <laughs> And my cousins were all just like, they were dying laughing because they didn't know that it was just about like, just fucking no strings attached, orgies. Like, I didn't know any of that. I was so embarrassed. I was like, that's not that embarrassing. It is, because I was- You were a cute kid though. But, just but, like, Also, I was lecturing them uh, on, on like, yeah, how the world yeah, should yeah, be. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I see a turning. He's like, I just yeah. think people need to love each other more. So no, good. really what he was saying, he's like, people need to finger bang each yeah. other a little bit more. And that's Joe, baby. Right. And I'm like, Joe the world is a better place <laughs> back then. And I'm like, I wasn't even born back that's then. So like, what the fuck am I saying to a bunch of people that are actually living that, 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 that lived in the era or whatever, you know? I'll set the yeah. table a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, wow, cringe well, moment. I, I went through a breakup, right? And this is like probably the worst breakup I ever went through because I was like, I, th I thought I was like deeply in love with this chick and all that stuff, right? And so we used to do improv together and all that kind of stuff and all the comedy stuff. And I knew where she went to hang out after we, she had dumped me, right? And so I go to like IO West at the time because I knew she'd be there that night. You're gonna win her back, weren't you? Nah, this is worse, bro. Oh, oh shit. I just. Cause like I had been with her for like two years or whatever. So I just went there to like sit there and let her see that I was hurt. Oh man. Good move. Oh <laughs> Jesus. Could you write poetry while you're there? Wait, why? <laughs> why? Wait, what was going through your mind? <laughs> Yeah. Dude, you oh. went to just be a spectacle <laughs> for her? Do you remember what you ordered? Did you order anything? Did you get like a it, drink? It's all just She's like got a, a fucking virgin margarita. Boneless? <laughs> Buffalo yeah. wings. The bar, the bar area in the lobby? That thing? Is that boneless wings? You got the boneless? Yeah, just where all the, like, you know where like there's interns working, right? Yeah, and then yeah, there's yeah. like the bar, uh -huh. and then everyone's getting PBRs. Yeah. I'm like... In the opposite corner, in one of the stools. Oh, oh yeah. Staring at this fucking bitch across the room, right? And like, so she's like chapping it up with like whatever improv dudes, like every fucking improv dude with a messenger bag is around her, right? <laughs> oh man. And then oh, I'm just shit. there, like fucking, fucking hurt. <laughs> just staring. <laughs> Steve's doing one of these at the bar. I went there, parked, got out, walked across the street, sat there, hurt. Awful. Every well, time I think about it, I shudder. <laughs> <laughs> what, would, what do you think, at your mind at that stage, what was like the desired I outcome? I didn't, I, for, I just thought that, shh, I know, it's bad, it's bad. We gotta be honest, man. I like this vulnerability. Though. But it's hilarious. Heartbreak so makes good. you do crazy yeah, shit. shit. Mm. I was in a vortex of like fucking pain, right? Yeah. I was just like, this is my chick, right? I was like, I'm gonna marry this bitch, this I fucking it, cunt, and marry her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, she dumps me, and then, like, I was like, she doesn't know I'm hurt. What did she, she doesn't know. What did she say to you when she dumped you? What, do you think that has something to do with it? Like, she said, never she fucking even look at me again. <laughs> oh! <No>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That'd be a baller move. And then he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at her. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna stare at you at the other end of the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna stare at you. No, um... <laughs> no, it was just like, you know, hey, I'm, you know, I don't remember, honestly. It was, it was such a fucking weird moment, but... Yes, yeah, she dumps me. She's like, hey, we're done. 
And I'm like, whoa, it's crazy. Like I lived with her and all this stuff. I'm like, we wow. moved to LA together. And like, whoa, oh, it's that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that oh, one. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. So that was a lot. There was yeah. a lot of life things that happened. A lot of life things. We had, I mean, she had, me and her had done improv together in San Diego, moved to LA together. And like, it was like a whole, we were like fucking like intertwined and stuff. And so, yeah, I was just so hurt that I wanted her to see that I was hurt. I, Cause I thought that she didn't know that I was hurt. And that if she saw me, she would know that oh, I was hurt. Because yeah. we always had a, a good relationship like that. And I thought, oh, and then she'll know, and then she'll be good. Like the oh, most oh, fucking cringy early 20s shit you could ever do. Because in your mind, you were thinking, oh, she'll realize and goes, you know what? I do love him. Exactly. And yeah. what happened after she saw you at the bar? So she makes eye contact with you, and she's like, honestly, what? I'll never forget it. Was she laughing? It's burned into my yeah. fucking corneas. Yeah. She was just kind of like this. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Yeah, like what the fuck are you doing? It's, it's yeah. funny too because that place is not very big, no. so he's not, he's not that far away like, like from each other. It's like that corner to here, and he's <laughs> six four. Right. He like hit her with a spitball. Yeah, yeah. giant. He's Steve. like arms like oh. the way. Thankfully, it wasn't like five fifteen, and then there's just me and her and like four people there. Happy like, hour, was, two was, for one. It was at least crowded, but right, right. my god, I'm the tallest guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I could see her; she could see me from everywhere. It's like, yeah, just a. Cringy. Oh, what did you think was gonna play out? Like you guys were gonna chat, and then she's gonna realize. Well, if, if I can, if I can get a little cocky for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Please, please, please do. Please what I do. thought was gonna happen is what ended up happening three months later. Oh! oh! Woo! Got <laughs> Who got the last laugh? Systematic revenge is what I deployed. To then, that's kind of your move. <laughs> that's a Steve Green yeah, brand. It's my, it's my, it's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look at the chains, bro. The reviews Woo! are in. <laughs> no, so I ended up, I started going out with this like chick who was like a model, and then my ex was like, "What the fuck? Like, oh shit, he's not hung up on me still because I was hung up on her for a while and she knew and she kind of she liked loves it. it. She kind of liked yeah, it. But like it. in that moment <laughs> when she's going like that to me. She didn't love it, right? But then once I like was starting to just rebuild myself and do better, yeah, dude. Yeah, do better, right? Yeah. Then she was all like jealous as fuck mm. about it, and she was like, "Oh yeah, you moved on pretty quick. Wow, she's really she's really pretty and all <laughs> this." Funny. Stuff. You moved on pretty. Quick. You moved on pretty quick. She used that line. Yeah. yeah. Was she going on any dates that you were aware of? I'm sure, not but, but no, no one that yeah, not with this chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, I was then, but then this chick with this new chick wouldn't like do blowies, and so I was kind of like, not nah, cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's yeah, tough. It's That's tough. tough. To deal with. It is. That is the biggest struggle a guy could ever have. <laughs> <laughs> what if she's like an oral model too? Yeah. And she, <laughs> she's like a teeth model. And she's so pretty. You only I'd want to that. see that it's mouth. Smile. <laughs> you know. She's she's that pretty. You just want to see that mouth stuff. <laughs> Filled up, dude. Filled to the brim. Oh fuck. Oh man. You, know, you guys are gonna honest. end my career. Yeah, it's just funny to imagine you acting like this because it's like, yeah, so yeah. not your character. You're, so, you're such a sweet sweet boy. Like dude. you just would suck dudes like this. It's hey, really I'm gonna say funny. something that's like for real. Honestly, this is the best therapy. You guys make me laugh so fucking. <laughs> And you never know if it's real or not. Yeah, yeah you'll yeah, never yeah. know. <laughs> oh, just go home, just yeah, it's up to your imagination. <laughs> so that leads to, but this leads into my next cringiest moment. Whoa. So my ex is like gunning hard at me, showing up to my door in French made costumes and shit, not kidding. <laughs> Whoa. Like, like offering like every amount and angle of blow sex you could ever imagine. Whoa. Every angle of blow Seriously? Sex. Yeah, dude, seriously, swear to God on my life. Because I know you didn't get to do anal, but check it out. Oh, here's a proposition. This roller coaster so, ride is going. So solid. then, huh. <laughs> Eddie Steve at it again. Yeah. So then, once I have mm. the ex back, she's like, you need to tell the new chick to no, no more. Go away no more, right? You need to tell the new chick. The model chick. No more. Yeah, no maybe. more. And so then I 
I had she had she made me write this email that was like fucked up. Oh, this is classic. This is classic. I've seen this scenario happen multiple times where one girl tells the guy, "You need to tell her," and then the email comes. It depends what you know how your age. <laughs> this is weird. He's so mischievous. No, he knows. He knows how no, it, nefarious. No, this isn't mischievous. This is just cringy. No, your face is like. Oh, but it's just mischievous. weird that he did these things. Because then you I, say? I, was you were like, like, you I was like, I was like, yeah, it's just, just like if we're gonna proceed, you gotta like let the new, you gotta let her go or whatever. Yeah. And then yeah. Yeah, I I wrote like this fucking thing. It was like it's all fake. It wasn't real and all shit. Oh. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Sunday. Springtime is finally here, and look, everything's blooming. Everything's nice. If only there was something that can help me with lawn care because you know it gets super expensive when I have to pay somebody and I enjoy doing my own thing but at the same time when I go to these big old stores with so many different choices I don't know what to do and that's where Sunday comes in Sunday is everything you need to get the lawn that you've been dreaming about this spring, go to GetSunday.com slash off the record and enter your address to get a customized plan created for your lawn. No trips to the store or hauling heavy bags since they ship straight to your home. All you need is a hose to apply Sunday. It's pretty easy. And you can fertilize your lawn in less time than it takes to watch our favorite TV show. And they only use ingredients that you can feel good about. No harsh chemicals, no long waiting periods, or trying to keep your kids and pets off the lawn. And you're back to enjoying your yard. How wonderful. Very nice. Right. Sunday is easy and affordable. Some lawn care services cost more than $1,500 a year, and that's not my style. But Sunday's full season plan starts just at $109. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $109. And you can get 20% off when you go to getsunday.com slash off the record at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at getsunday.com slash off the record. You wanna run out? You got the email in your inbox? Oh man. Do I have the email? You should just read it. Oh my god. You, I, you know, I know you got it. it. Did, did it, you start it? Did you start it? Just read it to us. I could probably find it. Just read it to us. Oh, don't say that, dude. Oh. <laughs> don't I know, but I know I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, you're being Sorry, honest. you don't have to. You probably could. I probably could, but it's it. Do you want the views? Sell your soul to the devil, baby. Right. <laughs> I want to say ads against it. <laughs> I get no, it. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if yeah. I, I, I trust me, it's cringy enough. You don't That's have right. to read we'll it. We'll pay you for it. You don't have we'll to. Read wait, it. We'll wait. Yeah, but yeah. Check our Patreon for Patreon. That, yeah, get, make sure. And how did she respond to that email? I hadn't heard from her ever since. Oh no. She Do you feel like ever apologizing? Oh, that is the one person where I'd be like, yo, I'm so sorry. I was a fucking mess. And you didn't give so BJ's. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, not sorry, BJ. not sorry. So, I mean, you could have made my choice real easy. <laughs> Holy Dang. crap. Dude. Remember Kazumi said that there are some girls that are so hot, they don't have to give head? Oh, is that a thing? You know what they're, you know what I call them? Single. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. Probably true. You know, you know when I'm like mildly uncomfortable? Dude, the conversation is a good cover. Because on the flip side, you do male, you say a guy who's like, oh, I don't eat puss, dude. Like DJ Khaled? I'm everyone, like, everyone I don't want to be like DJ Khaled. Yeah. At, who's Andrew puss eating, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking Andrew Tate, right? He, he, says, he says it too? Does he not eat puss? I, he just says random. He's, he's single? Yeah, he's not He's not wiped up, dude. No, See? Prove our point. Andrew Tate. He says he doesn't eat puss. Sure. Guess what? I don't know anything about him. I'm so glad Anthony wasn't here so I could share all this. <laughs> Don't just see his judgment. Yeah, he'd be mad at you. Yeah, he'd be judging me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, if we ask Anthony, wow, Anthony yeah, has no cringe. That's moments. a major story. Man, yeah. I have one that's not really like cringy. Like I think about it a lot, and I just like feel really bad about it. Like I feel terrible to this day. It was uh, somebody I used to train with. Well, I still train with him. He's still a good friend. But like I, I blew out his knee, <laughs> and oh, it's like no. I think about it. All the time, like <gasps> when I'm showering. Way to like, humble you know. brag. No, 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 but it was like it was like it was such a dick move. Like what, what kind I of did. move was it? That it was like it was something. Kick like, them like, in the shins. No, no, no. It's like <laughs> in jujitsu, like if someone takes your back, right, or they're, they're doing a little backpack, and they cross their feet in front, and then you cross, cross your, your feet on top of it. Oh, and and then it. Oh no. Yeah, and this is like at a time where I was like really young. I was like fucking just trying to compete, and like I was like, yeah, bro, like let's go get it. And I fucking 
I blew, like I popped his knee, bro. Oh. And it's like, oh no. And he still like had he we, he like jokes about it with me and like ribs me about it, but I'm like, bro, like I feel so fucking bad that I ever did that <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he still has issues like a little yeah, bit. He's like any he, he downplays it, but I'm sure it's probably way worse. But it's like I'll be in the shower, like dude, this is when it gets me. Like I'll yeah, just be yeah. showering, he'll be right after, and I'll just think about it and I'll be like. Oh, like I'll pace, dude. I'll pace around. I'll get hot. Like my palms are getting sweaty thinking about it. And anytime you break, you're, you're thinking about pop, popping a dude's knee or something else in the shower. When I drove my, yeah, I'm just wondering. Right. Drove my when he was uh, <laughs> straddling behind him. Yeah. All the blood rushes to my crotch, and then like I think about his knee. I know it hairs. Dude, I do that too in the shower. I just fucking reminisce about all the cringy shit sometimes. <laughs> it just flashes in sometimes. I'm like, oh. Well, it's when you're vulnerable. It's when you're when you're just chilling. Oh, okay, I got one. I got one. I got another going. This is more like there was this girl in high school that my friends were trying to set me up with and like We were like talking. I was like, oh, she cute. We, we hook up whatever like hang out And then the girl that was the mutual friend was like, hey, I got an idea and we were like junior like you know Like sophomores or something like that. She was like, hey come to the house. We'll watch scary movies, right? And then she'll be you know, like she don't want to like Oh my god. Classic, oh, yeah. I need a man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm scared. Yeah. So and I was like, oh dude, I got that shit. <laughs> Easy. Your boy doesn't really like scary movies. Oh, uh, bro. Your boy. So you were jumping into Your her. Boy, <laughs> you doing like me. Hey, you don't like scary movies. So they're like, well, we're gonna watch Saw. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, no. I don't like oh, the original. Gory Sc stuff. Scary stuff. I don't really have that much of a problem, but like gory stuff, I can't do uh, it, bro. You don't want to play a game. I'm not. I'm not down to play a game. And it was like Saw Four and shit. So you know, by the time they hit Saw Four, it was like they were top shock themselves. factor. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. bro, this guy was like hooked up. Yeah. Anyway, so we started watching the movie, <laughs> and like I couldn't, bro. I could. I was like, nah, I'm good, bro. Oh. I left. Whoa. I left. You completely oh, yeah. bounced? Come hey, on, man! Did you say why? Did you say why? Nope. I was like, I don't want to watch this movie. I was honest. I was like, I don't want to watch this fucking movie, bro. I'm out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Yeah. And I went home. I don't regret it at all. What'd you do when you went home? You played Zelda? I was like, you know what's funny? I At the time, I was like, I'm in the right. Like, I'm totally in the right. It wasn't a couple of, like years later where I was like, that was the biggest bitch movie <laughs> ever. <laughs> Going home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think, and I recently thought about this, and I was like, damn, that is really let's embarrassing. Do <laughs> let's do a Saw Marathon. Nah, dude, fuck Come you. on, let's do it, man. Nah, I'm not gonna watch that movie, dude. I don't wanna watch that movie either. I'm not into it, dude. It makes me sad. Come on, if I do a scary movie, you're not gonna watch it? I'll watch it if you're in it. But I don't know, fuck <laughs> it. While, while he's doing this the whole time, I'm gonna be in Saw 15. <laughs> I honestly just think I'm too fucking stupid to watch stuff like that yeah. because I know it's totally bullshit and like they're using fake meat and all this stuff. Yeah. But I fake still fall meat. for it immediately. And it's still PTSD in my brain. Meat. It's sucked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake meat's funny. <laughs> yeah, fake meat. Yeah. What, what is this? It's fake chicken. Yeah. It's, it's impossible burger. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible burger. They're using burgers? Beyond, dude. They're yeah. fucking using seed oils and shit. Beyond <laughs> blood. Seed oil. Yeah, Beyond yeah. blood. Scares the shit out of me. You know, there's like 50 blood. people behind the camera, but it feels so intimate and small. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know they got candy fucking eyeballs and shit, but I'm like, oh my god, that's a real eyeball and shit. Like immediately. <laughs> it's a grape, bro. Production blood. <laughs> I see the titles and I'm like, it's a movie, and then I'm sucked in right after that. Yeah, That's good, man. Can't do it. No, I'm out. <laughs> I like that. So it's just me and Steve that have yeah, cringy that's moments. It. Just huh? me and Steve. Yeah. What about you guys? Did I can't guys think know? of a like memorable cringy moment though, like as cringy, you know, as, as what we said. Yeah. Cause like my stuff is just like high school shit. It's like you do yeah, dumb shit, you know, like you talk to girls, get rejected, whatever. And it's like, okay, but does, is that really cringy though? You yeah. Know? I had, <laughs> like, when I was in sixth grade, uh, like we had the, uh, you know, the computers were just hitting like all the classrooms, all the stuff. So everyone had like their user ID and yeah. password. And I remember my boy was like, oh, yo, make this your password. So he tells me the, this, I was like, all right, yeah. Funny word, funny word. In. One day, I get locked out of the system, and it's like reset your password. I had to go tell the teacher, blah blah blah. And they're like, "What's your password?" <laughs> and I'm like, "My password is dildo." I'm in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what a dildo. Was. Yeah. No clue. Because my boy was just like, "Yo, make a dildo," and I was like, "How do you spell that?" <laughs> yeah, like literally, that was like I had no fucking clue. No clue what it was. Because it sounds yeah. funny. Yeah, it just sounded. I was like, "Dildo, it's funny." 
And I was just, I just. You said double like it was like. Yeah, nothing. Like I said, like, uh, like, like, you know, cheese. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I was like, oh, yeah, it's look. a dildo. And he was just like, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Mr. Perry. Oh, my computer teacher. I was like, dildo. <laughs> and then I said it louder, cause like I thought he didn't hear me. <laughs> Dildo. And then he, I'll never, I'll, he went, Dildo. you know, sometimes people say things and they don't, <laughs> this is what he said, and they don't know what they mean. Yeah. This is one of those moments. Oh, he knew. He knew that I didn't know. Cause you had no embarrassment. No embarrassment. And he pulled one out of the table, he's like, oh, this oh, is Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> With like, yeah, big glasses, braces, and I'm like, my password is Dildo. <laughs> And they're ribbed for his pleasure. Yeah. He gives him the gate definition. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, what's, he's like, what's your email? And you're like, anal beads out of my yeah, ass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so the best, what I thought was more funny was that the fact that he didn't have the balls to tell me what it was. Like, just be like, hey, just so oh, you know, yeah. he probably doesn't want to be the is, one to tell yeah, you. Like, How yeah. do you explain that to a? No, no. So he, all he did was, because I couldn't, can't look it up at school because yeah. it's blocked. Right. He's like. Go out, because he asked me, why did I do that? And I was like, oh, my friend told me. Yeah. And then he goes, go ask your friend what that is. Yeah. What? Which I thought was a smooth way of Yeah, that's it. fair. Because then he knows, like, oh, he, my friend duped me, and yeah. he doesn't yeah. get in trouble yeah. talking right. about the stupid yeah. shit with me. That's a cool Because I was a kid. Yeah, that's nice of him. My yeah, friend yeah, told yeah. me. Yeah, I was like, exactly. I was like, yeah, we, my friend told me. We were, yeah, you know, cool That's nice he didn't just get you in trouble or yeah. something. That's no, nice he, he didn't just take a dildo out and show you what it does. Just hit me in the face. Yeah. Yeah. That's a double sided. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> but that's just like kid shit yeah. growing up. Like, you're just an innocent idiot kid. I mean, it is funny to just say it cold. Yeah, just cold. I was just like, yeah, dildo. There's one that like everyone always makes fun of me about, and it is pretty cringy. But um, when I was on So You Think You Could Dance, season one, 2005, uh, I, I, you have to go through this gauntlet of different classes from different instructors that uh, they make you do all different styles. You could do ballroom, you could do contemporary, hip hop, and then it's kind of, the object of the show back then was to like fish out of water thing, to watch you like suffer in these different styles you don't do. And then when I had to do the contemporary one, which is sort of like ballet-ish, at least mm -hmm. to me at the time, um, the teacher was like, all right, I'm just gonna put on the song and I just want you to freestyle in your own style. And she put on this slow, like emotional thing and then so I just started, I started breaking, like doing what I do, but then trying to flow it and make it all like beautiful. And I was like really like feeling it and shit. <laughs> and then, uh, the, you know, everyone got all like emotional and shit. And then at the end of the thing, this is all like, it made the cut too on TV. And then she's like, she uh, she just comes over and just like hugs me, and I was like in the moment, and I just remember like I fucking <laughs> I never want to watch this clip because it's so embarrassing. <laughs> but like I, I I like looked at her or something, and I was like out of breath, and I'm like I've never danced like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Wait, was it Mia Michaels? Who was it? It was it Mia Michaels. Yeah, yeah. That's hilarious! <laughs> and she like loved it. And she was like, I never danced like that. I've never danced. Like, yeah. This is like the number one contemporary choreographer. Yeah. She's won 19 yeah. Emmys in a row. <laughs> and yeah, and then she's like, <laughs> I never danced like that before. <laughs> she was like so like into it, and it made me like it made my head like yeah. blow up. And I just it was thought, in a moment. I thought bro. I did. Hey man, yeah. you were vulnerable, baby. Yeah. It was, but then I sound so gay when I said that. Nah, dude. Nah. Nah, bro. But like, you're an like, artist. Yeah. You're an artist. You felt it. That it was <laughs> what you felt. Was that real though? Was that real? What you felt? I can't believe I just inspired the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I didn't. Do you know how many break dancers are now in their basement with cardboard boxes trying to do like arabesques? It's on. <laughs> Did you mean that when you said that? Oh, like, at oh, the yeah, time, yeah, because sure. I really never have. But yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that I sounded like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You discovered a new side of yourself. I thought I still yeah. sounded cool. And I bet the music that they added wasn't flattering at all either. You I know, mean, it's it's like there's like it actually is like okay, but yeah. like it's just. But your boys give you shit. <laughs> it's oh, dude, all my friends are like <laughs> to this day. Boy. But you're like I was That's on so TV, good. and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> to this day, even if we're like eating and someone gets a sandwich, you're like oh, I've never tasted cheese on a sandwich like this before. <laughs> Like it's like a fucking thing. I'm like, <laughs> that's a good one. Thank that's, you. I cringe every time. <laughs> that's another one in his arsenal, dude. I never oh, danced no. to music like this before. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, be reminded.